HQ, this is Yashik. All targets neutralized. Eden is a confirmed safe zone. Over. Copy that, Yashik. We have no further objectives for today. You can take a day off. Hoa. Oh, uh, over and out. All right, let's get this started. Greetings. I'm Yojik, lead scout of Rook Tower. This is blog number 0035 of How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. Now, in any survival situation, the secret to keeping yourself alive is awareness. Whether you're the predator or the prey, knowing and understanding your immediate surroundings is key. You always want to know what lies ahead of you in order to anticipate accordingly. Now, the human eye can only do so much. You'll need a tool that can help you quickly examine a point of interest or track a fast-moving target at a safe distance while still maintaining a wide field of view so as to keep in control of your current surroundings you want something with all the previously mentioned attributes without sacrificing precious resources. My recommendation is that you add a monocular to your loadout such as this Roxat grip scope. Quick and easy to use straight out of the packaging. The scope also comes with a velcro pouch bag with a belt loop, a neck strap such as this one, and an optic fiber cleaning cloth. The streamlined cylindrical shape together with its non-slip black coating makes it discreet to use, and it is not even the length of an average pen. The non-slip black coating also comes with large round bumps as you can see here on the surface, which makes it near impossible to drop it even if you're holding it with two fingers such as I am, and even with gloves if the scope drops off in your hands when wearing the neck strap will prevent it from hitting the ground. One of the main USPs of the Roxanne grip scope is the extendable eye cup here, which allows it to be used by people wearing glasses. Now at its default position it is already configured for a person wearing glasses and you just have to adjust accordingly using the screw mechanism to fit your needs. And once adjusted no matter how much pressure you apply onto it, it holds itself in place. Now if you're looking to get a wide-angled picture while still staying true to the colors and brightness of the naked eye, then the Roxanne Grip Scope is perfect for you. It has a magnification of 6, which is generally on the lower end of the spectrum as compared to the magnification power of most other scopes on the market. So although sacrificing magnification power, the picture boasts a wilder field of view and is steadier, meaning that there is less of an eye strain and you can use the scope for extended periods of time comfortably. Also, the back for a green prism that is inside allows for a more vivid periphery on the image and is also ideal for lower magnification wide-angle viewing scopes such as this one. And the crisp bright image that you get from this scope is achieved by its fully multi-coated 30mm optical diameter lens. Being fully multi-coated means that it has been coated several times by an anti-reflective allowing for greater light absorption. And a bright image, even in low light, is possible due to its large exit pupil. Now the exit pupil is not mentioned on the specifications, but can be easily determined by calculation. All you have to do is to divide the optic lens diameter, which is in this case 30 millimeters, by the magnification, which is 6. So 30 millimeters divided by 6 will give you an exit pupil of 5 millimeters for the Roxanne grip scope. And 5 millimeters will be the virtual aperture in which light exits the scope into your eyes. Now during the day this doesn't make much of a difference as the iris opens up only to around two millimeters and will only receive two millimeters of light information. However during low light conditions when your eye opens to five millimeters or even up until seven millimeters a scope that gives you a wider exit pupil or wider diameter of light is better than a scope that gives you only around two millimeters of light. And also the optic lens being 30 millimeters in diameter is actually lower to many of the other ones on the market but as the optic lens is generally the heavier component of a scope, this makes the Roxanne Grip Scope one of the lighter players in the optics world, yet still delivering on image quality. Now the drawbacks. Firstly, you need to use both hands when focusing on a subject. One hand to hold the body and the other hand to turn the focus ring. So you can never really have your other hand always occupied. Secondly, if it is magnification power you are looking for, then the rocks and grip scope is probably not the best idea for you. The scopes on the market can have a magnification of 8, 10, 12 or even greater, which can view minute details of farther targets. 
However, keep in mind that greater magnification power also sacrifices the field of view being narrower and also your image will be shakier, meaning more eye strain over extended periods of time. I use the Roxanne Grip Scope to quickly survey my immediate surroundings and to also track fast moving targets. Personally, I use this scope to pinpoint a target in the distance and when I want to examine that target in closer detail, I then take out a pair of binos. Thirdly, although it does so well in low light situations, is not night vision. Fourthly, despite its generally sturdy build, it does not mention anywhere that it is shockproof nor waterproof, and I wasn't willing to try that out for myself. As they say, no scope, no survive. And lastly, the Velcro pouch that comes with the package, although not directly against the scope itself. The Velcro pouch bag that it comes with is secured with Velcro, Try opening that without making a sound. Now in life and death situation, that is a no-go. Good luck hunting. Now due to my recommendations, a couple of the scouts back at the base have also opted to go for the Roxanne Grip Scope, but they told me it was no good. Why? Because when they look through the scope, they always see a black area around the periphery. But I smack them in the head and tell them that's not the way you do it. You look. The reason why you see a black area on the periphery is your eye is not receiving direct information from the exit pupil. You'll have to align the exit pupil with the center of your eye. And to do this the way I do it is to put the top part of the grip scope right underneath the eyebrow as so. Just like that. Not hugging closely to the socket of your eye like this, but slightly at an angle right underneath the eyebrow like this which makes a more comfortable experience, making sure that the scope points directly straight at your target, not at an angle like this, nor at an angle like this. Keep in mind that we want the exit pupil to align directly with the center of our eye. Overall, the Roxanne Grip Scope is a utility tool that has a great price-performance trade-off. It is a well-balanced player in the optics world. For all the points that I mentioned, as well as the points that I'm going to be mentioning right here, can you read that? It is great for that. So I hope I cleared a couple doubts about this product and also informed you a little bit more about the optics world. Time for me to go. It's getting dark here in Eden. Happy hunting.